good morning. We're back and we're ready for the clearing and stabilizing stage of our wine. Um, if you're doing this at home, this will be uh, kind of like your step three. If it's uh, if you're looking to do the in-store wine workshop, this will be session two um, of our workshop. So, um, just show you quick what we're going to be um, using today. Uh, we have our other ingredients laid out. I have potassium sorbate here that we'll put in. It's going to be a stabilizer to stop any yeast activity. Um, uh, which is essential if we're going to be re-sweetening wine. Uh, we have a little bit of metabisulfite, which is going to be our antioxidant preservative. Um, and packet number five, uh, uh, chitosan, which will be a clearing agent. And then, depending on your wine kit, you may or may not have this. This is uh, called the F-Pack. Um, it's a conditioner or a re-sweetener uh, for a sweeter wine. Uh, so that will be used today if uh, your wine kit has it. Uh, and then the other tools we're going to be using today, um, either the narrow end of a long paddle or spoon for stirring, or um, one of our mixer rods that we're going to attach to the drill, that's what we'll be using today. So I have these in our sanitizing bucket, so these are all sterile ready to go. So I'm going to uh, pull out our stopper here, drop that in our sterilizer, get this ready. So instructions will tell you to to stir for a minute or two before adding the other ingredients. Ready here, we'll use the uh, potassium sorbate and the metal based sulfite we're going to put in first. And you can either uh, mix this in with just a little bit of water and pour in, um, or just pour directly in, which is what I tend to do. You may be more comfortable uh, mixing up in a little dish and, and, and pouring it in. Once we have that in, we're going to stir up for another minute or two. And we want to stir um, fairly vigorously um, to drive off the gases now. So in some cases, we'll actually see uh, some froth and foam coming up. Um, and uh, other times not, so it does vary a little bit with the kit. Alright, so after several minutes, um, you can see we have a little bit of foam activity there. This one isn't too, uh, it hasn't foamed up too much. Uh, I actually have a, had a case where it actually foamed up out of the top. There was that much CO2 trapped in. So um, after a few minutes of vigorous stirring, um, with these uh, first additives in, then we're ready to add in our uh, clearing agent. Stir that in for another few minutes. All right. Now, um, after a few minutes of stirring in the clearing agent, if um, if you have the F pack at that time, is uh, when we would put that in. Um, depending on if you follow the instructions, you can see that you can get a, a little bit on the full side. Uh, for the kits that have the extra pack, I usually tend this. Oh, by the way, this particular wine we're clearing today, actually we're not doesn't call for the F pack, but I have it here just to, just for a visual. 
Um, for the kits that, that do have the F-Pack, I tend to mix up that we're going to shoot for five and a half gallon of wine in here initially to allow for space. This is a six gallon carboy, allow for space to add the F-Pack in. So um, if in the event that you need a little more room, you can actually uh, siphon some wine off to give some space to add the F-Pack sweetener in and then top off with your wine to get, to get your total there. So. Um, all we would do is just pour it in, stir it up, and then top off with wine or a little bit of water to get it full. Um, and once that's done, we can put the airlock in place, and then we're going to let it sit for two weeks to allow it to clear out. And we want to keep the temperature at 70 degrees or above. If it gets below, it can um, inhibit or slow down uh, the clearing stage. So we're going to keep it warm, and in two weeks, we'll be back and ready to bottle. So we'll see you then.